Hi Careers class, um, I'm Dr. Grimes and we've met once before through video. Um, this will be just the second time that most of you have heard a personal message from me. I have had a chance to meet with maybe one or two of you from class, but um, of course since this is an online class, um, we haven't had the chance to meet personally, not very many of us that is. Um, since this is week 11 and um, I'm just kind of feeling like we need an opportunity for more of a class, and since we can't really do that in the online forum, I thought I'd just make a quick video so I could talk to you guys a little bit. And then this week, um, again, which is week 11, um, you're working on discussion post number 10. Rather than uh, respond to a case study with information from the chapter, as you've done many weeks, this time I'm going to ask you to post replies and answers and follow up to today's video. And this is only going to take probably, I'm hoping, around five minutes. So here are the things that I wanted to say to y'all today. Um, first off, I just wanted to give you a heads up about the things that are coming up. And again, all of this is on your syllabus. Uh, your second paper is due this Sunday night. And that makes it due on Sunday night at midnight, October the 27th. And it needs to be in the Dropbox on Blaze View. That's your career paper on a special population. And I did ask for you to please send me your topic um, prior even to today. So if I haven't heard from you, I need to receive that topic today. Um, exam number two is also coming up soon. Um, that is going to be 60 questions this time and you will have, I'll send it to you the week before it's due and you'll have a week to work on it. Exam number two is going to be due in the Dropbox on Sunday night, November the 24th. Also due that day is um, your last kind of paper assignment. Um, again, this one's on your syllabus as well. And I call that a field experience assignment because I'm asking you to choose some um, articles, some publications that would be fitting for your particular field that you work in and then how you would use those articles in your work out in the field. And all of you have very different careers and so you're going to be writing about different topics with that. That's also due on November 24th. Um, at one of the also last grades that um, I will be providing for you is what's called on your syllabus the instructor's evaluation. And that's where I will be assigning to each of you a certain number of points uh, based out of 10 um, in terms of how you've met things like timeliness, uh, professionalism in your responses to emails and so forth. And if you have any questions about how you're doing in that particular area of our course, please call me or shoot me an email on that. I'm happy to talk with you about it. Um, just a heads up about two posts that are coming up. Post number 13 is going to require you to review some career websites, so you might want to plan a little extra time for that. Uh, post 14 gives you the choice of going either to the Career Center on campus at VSU. I would really love uh, if you could choose that because I think it would be a great learning experience for you. Uh, many of you live at a distance and you can't do that, and that's okay too. So I've given you the option of doing three online career assessments, and that's going to be for your last post. That's uh, discussion post number 14, and that one is worth eight points that week. I think you'll enjoy it, though. Give yourself some time either to go to the Career Center or to complete those online career assessments. You'll be experiencing what it would be like for some of your clients when they're taking career assessments by completing those yourself. All right, in terms of your grades, um, all of your grades have been mailed to you. That is your first group paper, your exam number one. Um, all of your posts each week are worth, typically, all of them except the very last one, four points. And if I have not contacted you, you have received full points for your posts every week. Um, there are seven, seven different grading types in our class, and all of those are on your syllabus. If you want to take a look back over those and calculate your grade to this point, and again, if any of you would like to speak to me personally about your grade, I'd be happy to do so. Just shoot me an email uh, and let me know when you'd like to set up a time for us to talk by phone. Um, finally, and um, this is what I'd like for you specifically to respond to this week in class. Uh, in your very first discussion, each of you talked about your stated career uh, plans, your stated career goals. 
Um, Latoya, you told us that you're getting a master's degree in sociology and that you one day might like to be have a PhD in sociology. Crystal, I know that you work in family and consumer science and that you're a team leader and that you're getting your EDS in curriculum and instruction. Sarah, I know that you're also getting your curriculum and instruction EDS and that you'd like, you'd like one day to perhaps become a school principal. And John, I know that you are working towards your master's degree in uh, clinical psychology to work in the clinical side of counseling. What I'd like each of you to do in this post is talk, to, talk a little about what you've learned so far um, in our class through these 10 or 11 weeks, um, how your new insight from career theory and career assessments and career centers uh, might affect your original career goals. And if any information from this class is something that you wish you had had early on as you were setting those career goals. So basically, talk about your career um, as you originally explained it to us in that very first discussion and how we, either it's the same or how it might have changed or basically how it's been affected by what you've learned so far. This is also a great time for you to ask any questions in your post that would apply to everybody in class. Um, or, like I said, you can contact me um, personally, and I'd be happy to talk with you uh, more privately. Okay, that makes it six minutes. I only wanted it to be around five. Contact me if you have any questions. I look forward to hearing from you on this post. Thanks a lot.